Hi, welcome to The Basics with Dr. Mo. I'm your host, Dr. Mo. We're talking about excitement, nervousness, shyness, lust. In other words, we're talking about the first time. Let's take a step back a bit. When we think of virgins, we think of purity, innocence, youth. Hold on a second. Are we talking about young men? There are huge gender differences when it comes to virginity. Girls are supposed to hang on to it for as long as possible. Boys are supposed to get rid of it as fast as they can. These are the same people who are likely to have sex with each other. It turns out that there are also huge gender differences the first time people have sex. Ask any woman about the first time she had sex and it might sound something like this. Really uncomfortable and intimate and not as like freaky and fun. Wow, that doesn't sound like the hearts and flowers we've come to expect. In fact, when women do talk about their first sexual experience, there tends to be one common denominator. Is this it? One study found that only 8% of women, 8% had an orgasm the first time they had sex. I mean, I was a pretty late bloomer, um, but I was really nervous about losing my virginity and and really anxious to get it over with. So I, I also grew up in a super religious household. So in my um, comfort with sex, especially sex before marriage, um, is probably took a lot longer than I think other people. How do you know you're a late bloomer if you have no idea what everyone else is doing? According to the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Although the average age of first sex for women has been the same for decades, and is between 17 and 18 years old, in 1988, 51% of teens had sex before age 18, compared with 42% of teens in 2015. We need to start talking openly and honestly about sex. Here are some honest thoughts and advice on that first time. With sex comes a lot of nerves like people are nervous that they're not going to be good at it um, like that's a huge thing and it's just that sex is overwhelmingly about knowing how to pleasure yourself and how to communicate that to your partner um, and I think if you have really healthy communication and understanding with your partner you'll be able to have good sex and also reciprocate that for them in the ways that you're both comfortable with. Oh, I would say it's really not a big deal don't worry about it you know, it's not going to be this huge life-changing thing. Take your time. I have some final thoughts, too. If that first time is amazing for you and your partner, enjoy it and remember it fondly. If that's not the case and that first time doesn't live up to your dreams, pick your own first time to remember. There's no rule that says you can't. As always, I want to give a huge thank you to all of the women who share their stories. We couldn't do this without you. You deserve to know. Thanks for watching.